Hi, everyone, and welcome Eagles insider Dave Spadaro with Eagles head coach Doug Peterson. Our weekly one-on-one -on -one presented by Wawa, and we are looking ahead here. Detroit comes to town on Sunday. A bit of adversity for the first time this season. Um, so your process is to do what? To keep looking ahead, right? Hey, we just got to keep looking ahead. It's a long season, and uh, this was week two, and, and we knew going down to Atlanta that uh, – you know, that we were going to get their best, obviously, because they didn't have a very good showing in week one. And, um, and we got it. And, uh, but at the same time, we faced adversity, but we hung in there, gave ourselves a chance at the end, had the lead. Um, and, and, you know, they made a great play at the end and, and, and won the football game. But uh, we're looking ahead. Uh, we're excited about Detroit, another home game, and uh, getting ready to play. Uh, really a remarkable amount of resilience, again, shown by this football team, because it was tough sledding there in the first half. When it went down to the end and Zach caught the pass on the side, everybody watching on TV, you can see the lines and the replays. What were you thinking as you're watching that? Do you think yeah, you got there? I wish, I wish I could have seen the lines. Yeah. Uh, but um, I, from my side, you know, it was obviously the, the furthest part away from me on the sidelines, so it was hard for me to get a – a visual on that. It was. I knew it was close. I. I, I just felt like uh, we had it. Um, but uh, you know, obviously the replay, everything that we saw, um, great play by the Falcons, keeping them short. It was interesting, Doug. I, I did a radio interview after the game on WIP, and they were talking about Carson and critical of Carson in the first half. And you know, for me, I, I thought what Carson showed and I, what I articulated was from a team standpoint, couldn't be more proud of the way Carson played in that football game with so many. Players he hasn't taken a lot of reps with, number one, and then to lead the team back to a lead in the fourth quarter and come that close. Yeah. What do you think? Well, that's the thing that I think people sometimes don't realize is that when you, you know when, when a, your Dallas out Goddard goes down and then Deshaun and Alshon go down, those are three pieces that you know we've incorporated into the game plan and, and woven into the fabric of the game plan. Where Carson's getting a ton of reps with these guys, and now things have to be adjusted quickly on the fly. And, and you got to make things work. And people were playing a little bit out of position from time to time. And then, you know, guys like J.J. and Mac Hollins, they don't get all the reps during the week. So what Carson was able to do to, to, to keep us in this football game and lead this football team in a hostile environment, very loud, a good pass rush to keep his eyes down the field, make the plays he did, um, and really, really kind of lead us back. You know, of course, we had some defensive turnovers, which were tremendous, and we got to have those, and, and they did an outstanding job as well. But uh, his leadership uh, really kept us in this game. We spoke about this going into the season that the first few weeks here, you're learning about the football team. So through two weeks, what have you learned about the Eagles? What do you think this football team is? Well, you know, number one, the, just the, the, the toughness, the mental toughness of this team. I mean, we, you know, we've been, we've been faced with adversity here in this, in, you know, early in this season. And how these guys have hung together, come, really have come together from week one to week two, how well the defense really played in this football game. Offense had some turnovers that, 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 that allowed Atlanta to come back and, and score, but and then defensively to create turnovers, things we didn't see necessarily in week one and how they gelled and came together uh, is, is the sign of growth and then, and then the adversity that we faced on offense and how the offense kind of came together. And um, that's, that's to me, is a, a sign of, of good things to come. And, and again, we're going we're gonna to win more of these games. And that's what I told the team after the game, that this is a defining moment for us because, because this is really going to bring us together as a team. And uh, we're going to look back on this loss down the road somewhere, lean on it, and, uh, and be better for it. You, you've been through this before. Today, Tuesday, it's a lighter day. Players come in, work out. Tomorrow you get back on the practice field. What do you look for from guys? Man, I want to see the enthusiasm. I want to see – I don't want to see heads hung. I don't want to see, you know, body language is, is poor and all that. I want to see guys that come in here ready to, ready to work, ready to learn, and get ready for the Lions. I mean, this is, it's another, another good football team coming in here. And, and listen – we're not going to make excuses, and nobody cares about the Philadelphia Eagles' woes right now. I mean, it, it, it's not the way this business works. So uh, we've got to do our part as coaches to get our guys ready to play and, and play, a, play another good football team. From a critical standpoint, Doug, running the football is something you really have a lot of confidence in. The run game, not there as much as you wanted on Sunday night. What do you need to do to be better in that part of the game? Yeah, we, again, we just, we just got to execute a little bit better. Um, you know, Miles really had more opportunities in this past football game and, and, and missed a couple things. I mean, rookie things, and, and those are things he'll get better as he plays. And, and Jordan, we know Jordan's a, a, a good, solid runner for us, and, and, and we just got to continue to work. I mean, you know, the run game is a patient, patient part of the game, and, and – um, 
it's not always going to be six, seven, eight yards of crack. I mean, you're going to get one, two, three yards, but but then you're going to get that one that breaks it for maybe 20 or 25. And we just got to continue to work and and look at it structurally as a, as an offensive staff and. Um, you know, moving forward, just have a great, great run plan. Big picture defense through two games. How do you feel about that group? I feel good. You know, coming out of week one, there were some, there were some issues, you know, with some communication breakdowns in the secondary. And then, then this past week to create the turnovers now that, that we did and, and generate some pass rush against, you know, Matt Ryan, who, you know, we know in the past, if you can get some pressure on him, balls are going to come up. And um, I thought defensively really kept us in this football game and, and held them to field goals when, when it could have been a touchdown uh, and then it created some turnovers. So uh, big improvement from week one and, and looking, looking for them to really uh, make another step this week. What do you know about Detroit here? Big win for them against the Chargers on Sunday. The defense really stepping up. They've got the talented quarterback, some running back game. Now they haven't had a running game for years. Now it seems like they have a little yeah. bit of a running game going. Yeah, it, you know, this is another, another team. You know, uh, obviously we get that division, you know, that, that NFC uh, North division there and, 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 you know, with the Lions. And, and again, you know, it, 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 a team that is coming in here, they're coming off a win, they're coming into Philadelphia. Everybody, we're going to get everybody's best every single week. Uh, this will be another, another challenge, another great opportunity for our football team. I just feel like it's not about what teams do. It's about what we do. And we just got to get better at what we do and, and then go play. Quite a challenge here. Back-to-back games here in a span of uh, five days. Lions and the Packers, so the Eagles getting ready to attack the NFC North. Doug Peterson, thanks so much, and good luck on Sunday. We need all of your energy Sunday at Lincoln Financial Field, Detroit in town, 1 o'clock kickoff. Doug Peterson, Dave Spadaro, thanks so much for joining us. Our weekly one-on-one -on -one presented by Wawa.